God is that thing. Street View is a is a part of Google Maps where, um, as a viewer, you can navigate a city street through a 360-degree panorama. And the way um, Google goes about getting these images is they have a a 360-degree camera on the top of a car, mounted on a car, and they drive the streets and they photograph, and then they stitch all those photos together to create this online um, kind of, it's sort of like a, uh, what they used to call those, um, they were like quick time VRs where it was a kind of virtual reality. So they stitch these together and you can navigate um, through images of, of any given street. And Pittsburgh is one of the current cities that has that and they're, they're spreading and they're trying to do every city uh, in the U.S. right now. But uh, Pittsburgh is one of the first, I don't know, 20 or so cities that had this technology. You know, what if we knew when the car was coming up the street and we could have, you know, posed on the street or done something, you know? And we just started thinking as an abstract idea, something that wasn't possible. And then I started thinking more about how this was actually probably totally feasible because as a grad student at CMU, I had access to a lot of a lot of people and a lot of, of uh, technology. Also, Google had just opened up an office at CMU. So I just made a couple of uh, emails to different p different folks seeing if anybody had any contact with people in Google, and they did. So as soon as we knew that was a feasible, like conversation was actually feasible, we started developing this idea into, into something larger and into an actual, an actual idea. The north side is such a uh, perfect area because, for instance, Samsonia Way is, is, you can, there's a beginning and an end of Samsonia Way. It's about nine or eight blocks long from Brighton Road to Federal. And it's a one-way alleyway there. And it goes through, like, s several distinct areas. And, and there's lots of layers of history. And we really like visually what it looked like. The fact that it was a one-way alleyway gave us, we had some control over flow, traffic flow, and because the mattress factory is right there, we thought we could make a uh, really good connection with mattress factory, and then that would also allow us connection with the neighborhood itself. Because we, what we really wanted to do was to create something that was not just artists coming in and throwing something up while the Google car, Google car comes by, but really um, taking an image of the neighborhood. So getting everybody in that neighborhood involved as much as we can. But we thought... You know what? What if we could really picture, like, have a neighborhood choose how they're how they're seen in Street View? I spent probably every weekend for uh, two months or so around talking to people, just walking around, kind of getting the idea and the feel of the place, and and then deciding on different. You know, we we saw there there are two ways we went about deciding what was going to happen. One was who, who can we get involved, and what do they have any ideas, right? So if the neighbors next door have any ideas that fit into this whole, into the whole kind of idea of, of intervening in Street View in, in, a, in a way that, that fit with the overall agenda, I guess, which for us was to create something that blurred the boundaries between reality and fiction, and not just not come and throw a bunch of obviously staged things, but have a lot of things that could potentially make, could potentially happen on any given day and could have been captured on Street View with the camera. But why is this small alleyway on the north side the most exciting street in the world, right? Like, why, why are all these things happening simultaneously on this street at this time? 